first and foremost, uh, happy belated birthday. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Of course, February 4th, Reacher coming out on Amazon Prime Video. You've been pretty versatile throughout your career. Of course, in, in this show, you play Roscoe Conklin. When you heard that you were getting this role and going to be a part of the Jack Reacher universe that includes the film with Tom Cruise and the iconic novels, what was your reaction? Oh, I was so excited. I mean, I think that the the scripts that I had read were amazing, and I was so excited to get to play, to play Roscoe. I mean, she's such a fun character, and she is, you know, I, I knew that it was going to be a really fun project to shoot because of, you know, that pilot episode, which is just so quippy and intriguing. Was there any prep that you felt the need to do as far as go through novels, go back and watch the film, anything like that? Um, I actually chose not to watch the film. I hadn't seen the film um, before I auditioned and I kind of didn't really want that to, uh, I guess, shade what I thought Nick Santora's interpretation of the material was. After I got the part, I went ahead and I, I read Lee Child's book, which is wonderful. And um, but as we were shooting, I really kind of did rely most heavily on Nick's scripts, which are really, really detailed. And he wrote all of them before we even started shooting. So I was able to read all eight scripts and kind of see the whole arc and trajectory of the plot and the character. And um, and that's always so immensely helpful when you have all of that information before you start shooting a project. While also, like, as you said, kind of bringing your own take to it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Which is, I think the best, the best kinds of adaptations have, you know, your own signature on them. And did you have a chance to meet Lee Child? Yes. Yeah. He came and visited us uh, when we were shooting the the final episode and I, he's amazing and was so supportive of all of the work that we were doing. And it was really wonderful to, to get to meet him in person and to also have his support for what we were doing was so important, obviously. And of course, Alan stars as Jack Reacher, no middle name. Uh, the chemistry between you two uh, seems pretty awesome. Did you click initially? Yeah, yeah. We had a we had a chemistry read on Zoom um, before I got the job. And I mean, you know, he and I kind of hit it off. We were already making gentle fun of each other in the chemistry read. And it just was very easy when we actually finally met in person to just get along. He's an easy person to get along with. And we had a lot of fun on set. And also we just had so, so many laughing attacks. He's so funny. And for some reason, we just crack each other up. Like once we get started, we can't stop, which is sometimes bad for production. <laughs> <laughs> and him as a character as well, just very, if somebody doesn't know anything about Jack Reacher and is watching this for the first time, I don't want to give too much away. Like, he's low-key quick-witted. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, totally. I mean, there's a lot of verbal sparring that happens in the show. And um, a lot of it is definitely between Roscoe and Reacher. And it's fun. It's really fun. Fun stuff to shoot too. Everything. I'm assuming this was primarily filmed during the pandemic? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we We're shot in uh, March March to August of 2021. Wow. <laughs> have to yeah. really think about my dates right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Time is a flat circle. So did you guys have any challenges with everything? I know it's a little bit easier now with vaccinations, things like that, but were there any challenges in filming? Yeah. I mean, I think the biggest challenge was we were shooting in Toronto and Toronto was locked down for right. most of that time. So I think the biggest challenge was, was kind of the people who are our costumers had a hard time shopping because no stores were open and, uh, and you could, and a living challenge was that the only thing you could do is go to the grocery store really. So it was definitely kind of a return to 2020, um, for, I think the people who traveled to Toronto to shoot there. And, you know, it was definitely, it was definitely a very, a very interesting experience, but on set, I mean, everything was, was smooth. The production was great about testing and, and safety and it all felt good. What was it like working with the, the showrunner, Nick Santora? I mean, that guy's done, I mean, Lord knows how many different productions, of course, best known for Law & Order, Scorpion, of course, The, the Sopranos. I'd imagine you got a kick out of working with him. I know. Nick is is prolific. He is really, he's always doing a million things at the same time. It's inspiring. Um, I mean, he's amazing. He's thought about everything. And he's so generous with his time and his insights. The number of times that I would like text him a question, he'd just be like, call me. And then we'd be on the phone for, you know, 30 minutes, just talking about something that I had a question about. Um, he wasn't with us when we were shooting in Toronto cause he was in, um, LA, but he was always available and always around. And it's amazing to have a showrunner who knows so clearly like what they want and what they're looking for and who, uh, 
is so supportive. He's great. I love him. Doing a series like this based on the Jack Reacher universe, for lack of a better term, opens you up to a whole new fan base, but you still have a ton of fans from your time, of course, in Scream, Dare Me, Royal Pains. How does it feel to have such a loyal fan base that's kind of followed you from project to project with their full support? Yeah, I mean, it's really wonderful. It's always such a it's always such an interesting dynamic because there's all of these people who feel very connected to me and my work who I just don't know. And it's, it's really lovely when you get to hear, hear from them that the work that you do is touching them in a specific way or helping them through a hard time. Because, you know, at the end of the day, that's, that's one of the most beautiful parts of our job is that we offer a whole range of things to people that we don't even ever know about. And, um, and that's just, you know, it's a special part of our job. Reacher, February 4th on Prime Video. Uh, before we let you go, Willa, we always like to ask our guests some kind of random rapid fire questions just to get to know them better. Are you ready? I don't know. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll try anyway. <laughs> Favorite late night snack or cheat meal? Oh, I love um, Pirate's Booty cheese puffs. Sounds pretty good. Again, hungry right now. <laughs> All time favorite actor, actress? Meryl Streep. Oh, she, she's iconic. I know. All time favorite series besides Reacher. Oh my gosh. Pen 15. All All time favorite movie. Oh my God. Okay. Titanic. Don't judge me, but (laughs) I love that movie so much. I watched it maybe upwards of 40 times as a child. I could never answer anything else. Also Kate Winslet. I almost (laughs) should have said Kate Winslet is on Meryl Streep. Now I feel guilty. Is it, we'll include her as honorary mention. That's good. Okay, so okay. wait, you, you said as a kid. So back in the day, you know, we're around the same age. That would have been like great VHS. So did you have like the double set, like yeah. of, of the Titanic? Oh yeah. <laughs> and I wasn't allowed to watch the whole thing, but my friend Leah had it. So we would go over to her house and we would just watch like parts of it. And then we'd go run around her backyard and like reenact them for days. <laughs> oh man. That's awesome. How yeah, about you speaking? <laughs> yeah. The double VHS is epic. Uh, hypothetically speaking, uh, what do you think Roscoe's favorite part of Margrave would be? Ooh. What would her favorite part of Margrave would be? I think probably like the rolling farmland. I think okay. that she probably grew up kind of out in the farm country. Cool. Most awkward moment on set? Most awkward. I mean, sex scenes. They're always <laughs> awkward. There's no getting around them. Especially when you're just like BFFs with your co-star and you're like, I guess we have to get naked now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've, 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 this seems like a recurrent theme. I've heard that. Yeah, so. <laughs> it's just, that is what it is. <laughs> yeah. And in one line or less, why should people watch Reacher February 4th on Prime Video? Because you're not going to want to stop watching it and it's going to make your day better. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> well, well, Willa, thank you so much for the time. Of course, everybody can check out Reacher on Prime Video beginning February 4th. Thanks so much. Best of luck and everything. 